In this video, I'm going to show how to create your own framework and add it to your project as a module. So to start, you could do file new project or command shift N as a shortcut and select the framework uh, option. Call it my framework. And then just add it to whatever folder you want. and it creates a new blank project for our framework. So to add it to an app, so in this case, Testing Fundamentals is my app. So to add my framework now, I'm going to drag the project of the framework and put it above my apps project. And then this pop-up will come up asking if I want to convert to a workspace, which is what we want. and um, make sure it's on like the root folder so your workspace will end up saving next to your project. I'll just name it the same as the project. And then we'll see in red the framework project showing up here. And the reason why it's in red is because right now we are in the apps XC project and we want to be in the XE workspace. So I'm going to close the project and then in our folder we could see the Xcode project which is what we originally were using and now since we've added the module we're going to use this workspace. So the workspace will let us uh, work with both projects basically. So now my framework project is up here and the app project is below. So I'll add a simple class just to import into the app project. So by default, Swift has an internal access control, which means that any of your code that you write in your project will be able to see each other unless you mark a class or a struct or whatever as private then only code within that file will be able to access that class or struct or whatever so if you don't have private then by default it's an internal class which you could omit because that, that's just the default and then whenever you're working with the framework, if you want that code to be exposed, you have to mark it as public. So I'll create one class here called public my class, and I'll create another class, uh, I'll just call it my class internal. And what we'll see is that when we try to access this internal class from the app, we're not going to be able to. So if we go back to the app, in order to have access to my class, we need to import that framework. So in order to add the framework to the project, we go to the general settings of the app. So the app target general, and you scroll down and there's frameworks, libraries, and embedded content section. If you hit the plus button, you'll see your framework show up, and we'll add it. then let's say we just want to access it in the app delegate so we're going to import my framework well let's build real quick and then now if we import my framework and let's create a, that class and we'll see we don't have access to that variable and that's because our variable isn't marked as public. So by default, it's internal, so we can't access it. But if we change it to public and rebuild, OK, even the initializer <laughs> is uh, inaccessible. So we have to manually have a public in it. 
and now it compiles. So we could create the class and now we could access that property. Now, if we try to create that other one, I don't remember what I named it my class internal so we won't even be able to see it and that's because it's not being exposed from the framework because by default it's internal anything you want to be able to access in your app has to be marked with public so that is how to add a framework to your app.